वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर ऑन रिफ्रैक्शन एट एस्फेरिकल सरफेस फॉर रिफ्रैक्शन एट एस्फेरिकल सरफेस दिस इज अस्फेरिकल सरफेस विच हैव रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर बिकॉज दिस इज अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ अ स्फेयर लाइक दिस एक स्फेयर का एक स्मॉल पार्ट होता है स्फेरिकल सरफेस जिसका सेंटर होता है सी and radius of curvature is r so this is the principal axis passes through point p p is the pole of the spherical surface and c is the center of curvature this is the radius capital r radius of the spherical surface so this spherical surface can be considered as, as a planar surface hence the law of refraction is also applicable on that spherical surface laws of reflection means if a light intend at any point then it makes an angle i with normal so for a spherical surface normal kya hoga for a plane surface this is the normal for a planar and for a spherical surface normal kaise consider karte hain normal is perpendicular to the tangent normal is perpendicular to the tangent which passes through the center so this is the normal hence this is the radius of curvature r to so, spherical surface ke liye normal kya hoga jo tangent pe perpendicular hoga if i am talking about n point object o so ray of light from a point object o incident at any point of the spherical surface then it makes an angle i which is angle of incidence so for that spherical surface normal would be this so if a ray of light from point o incident at any point that point is n on a spherical surface it makes an angle i angle i is angle of incidence assume the medium n1 is air and medium of material n2 is denser so a ray of light from point object o incident at any point on a spherical sur surface makes an angle i with normal then ray of light which pass passes through rarer medium to denser air is rare medium if a light passes through travel through rarer medium to denser medium then it bends towards the normal to so, ye normal ki taraf bend hogi so this this angle is r angle of refraction okay and the one ray of light from point object o passes through center of curvature c the ray of light from point object o which makes angle r with normal and the point ray of light which passes through center of curvature meet at a point i is known as image point and our image is formed at point i so we are talking about a point object o then this is a object point from point object o to pole the distance consider as object distance u and and from point p to i in distance consider image distance v and r is the radius of curvature so for a refraction at a spherical surface the formula is n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r Where n two is the 
medium of material n1 is the medium of air r is the radius of curvature u is object distance and v is image distance this is the important formula as per the exam you don't need to derivate this formula because this is not compulsory for you you have to remember only the result of refraction at a spherical surface now the distance object distance image distance and radius of curvature always consider sign convention sign convention kaise hoga agar main baat karu distance op then op is always u minus u because this is on left side and we always use cartesian system for ray of light pc is plus r and pi is plus v okay now remember the formula n2 by v minus n1 by u equal to n2 minus n1 by r now based on this formula there are some numericals important as exam view locate the image of the point solution first of all the image distance image distance from point p to any of the point here that is i we have to find the image distance okay image distance hame find karni that is v so consider the image distance v now object distance 15 cm object distance u u yahan pe kya hoga from sign convention that is minus 15 cm why because um, object place left side of the spherical surface and we use always cartesian system like this this is the origin this side is negative this is positive upward is positive and downward is negative r r radius of curvature is consider positive 30 plus 30 cm n1 n1 is given 1 and n2 medium is given 1.5 according to refraction at spherical surface n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r put the values 1.5 upon v minus 1 upon minus 15 cm is equal to 1 upon v is equal to 0.5 upon 30 cm minus 1 upon 1 upon 15 we find the value of v is equal to minus 30 cm it means jo humne assume kiya tha ki hamari image yahan banegi i jise humne v assume kiya tha to wo jo hamara concept tha v assume kiya humne uske according hamare paas result find nahi hua hamare paas result find hua v equal to minus 30 cm माइनस थर्टी सेंटीमीटर मीन्स हमारी इमेज कहाँ बनेगी ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ अ स्पेरिकल सरफेस और वी कैन से एट द साइड ऑफ अ ऑब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट की साइड में ही इमेज फॉर्म होगी वाई बिकॉज द नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट दैट इमेज फॉर्म ऑन लेफ्ट साइड अगर लेफ्ट साइड में इमेज फॉर्म होगी इट मीन्स द इमेज इज वर्चुअल ऑब्जेक्ट की ही साइड में इमेज अगर फॉर्म फाउंड होती है देन द इमेज कंसीडर्ड एज अ वर्चुअल इमेज ओके नाउ द सेकंड इज फाइंड द साइज ऑफ द इमेज फॉर्म इन द सिचुएशन शोन इन फिगर सॉल्यूशन दिस इज योर ऑब्जेक्ट नेम ए बी With height one centimeter, the spherical surface center of curvature C mu one is one, mu two 
is 1.33 mu is n we can say n as well as mu aap koi bhi name denote kar sakte uh, symbol denote kar sakte ho medium ke liye that is n or mu so for the diagram the object distance u is 40 cm because object is placed left side of the spherical surface then u is minus 40 cm r r also on the left side of a surface and we use on always cartesian system jaisa maine bataya this is the cartesian system negative positive so r is also minus 20 cm n1 is 1 and n2 is 1.33 according to refraction at spherical surface n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r put values n2 ki value hai 1.33 upon v v is okay we we have to find the value of v minus 1 upon minus 40 is equal to 1.33 minus 1 upon minus 20 cm now from the calculation we find the value v that is minus 32 cm v minus 32 cm it means minus represent that image formed on left side or we can say that image is virtual now image form in the situation find the size hame uska size find karna hai then the magnification is magnification is given by m or we can say h2 by h1 equal to n1 v upon n2 u so n h2 by h1 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 is the height of object h2 is height of image and h1 is height of object and height of object is 1.0 cm 1.33 into minus 40 cm because the value of u is minus 40 cm value of v is minus 32 and value of n1 okay value of n1 is 1 now from there we find the value h2 is plus 0.6 cm means the image is erect okay now for more videos stay tuned on youtube subscribe our channel on youtube and like our facebook page that is quantapti thank you